Hi everybody, this is Tony Ann coming to you live from New York. So we are making, and I apologize for the angle, but this is a different setup, but I do think it gives you guys a better view. Uh, we are making a cabbage and smoked sausage soup. Um, I know it's summertime and soup might not be my number one in the summer, but I have things that I need to use up and that's what we're making. So as people drop on, say hi, tell me where you're coming from. If you've never seen me before, say new. If you're watching on a replay, which means a little red live is on in the corner, put replay in if you wouldn't mind sharing this out. So we're starting with, I'm heating up my pan, but we are starting with, um, we're gonna saute some of this stuff and get these vegetables cooking. So what the recipe is already out there for you. And, um, I did move it down to four, like four servings. This would be a bigger recipe and I did kind of tweak it a little bit for it to work for me. Um, but feel free to, where there's optionals, do what you wanna do. So let me know where you're coming from. So we're gonna start with putting the butter in and a little bit of olive oil so that my stuff can start sauteing. And let me know where everybody's coming from. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind sharing this out, it helps me a ton. And anybody who shares, as long as you comment, share it in the comments, it will enter you into my weekly giveaway. So far, we just started this back up, and we've had two winners in the last two weeks. Where is my spoon? Okay. So... This, my butter's almost melted. We're gonna start dropping the stuff in. So we're gonna start by cooking the celery and onion. And let me know what everybody's having for dinner today. I was thinking about doing the kielbasa with the, in the oven, but I really didn't wanna cook in the oven, to be honest with you. I just had no interest in it. All right, so we're starting with, uh, that would be our celery, and we're putting in our onion. So celery, um, I did a stalk of celery, and I did about a quarter of an onion. It was, the onion I had was a fairly large onion. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was on the big side. So we're gonna start with that. So how's everybody's summer going? How are we doing with water? Hi Jamie, hi Stacy, hi Cheryl. Can you, well, you guys aren't seeing my angle. See, I thought I had a better angle for you. You can see a little bit. Let's see, I might be able to get this a little bit higher. Let's try. Whoops. That might be a little bit better. Hi friends. Can you see that pan? I mean, at least you see a little bit. It's better than what you get sometimes. Sometimes I don't think you guys can see it at all. Um, one thing I'm doing, I am using Rotel. I know the recipe called for like diced tomato. I'm just doing Rotel. I figured it'd give it a little bit more spunk. And I also did optional um, cream cheese and that was because, I don't know, I just wanted to give it a little bit more substance. But I did put it as optional. So we're salting it and peppering it. Okay. 
So I'm going to tell you guys something. There's a girl I look at, I watch on TikTok. She, um, she's called the car girl. And she used to work in a dealership a long time ago. And so now what she does is she helps people buy cars. Well, anyways, I like her attitude. She's, she's funny. She is hysterical. She's got two accounts. One, she really keeps it more towards car buying. And the other one is just very personal, more, more her and things that go on in her life. So, um, but with the car buying, you know, she'll give you all these pointers about all the shady things that happens in a car dealership. Well, one of the things is I, right now, my car is leased and it made a lot of sense for us because it, honestly, it was like dirt cheap. It was during COVID. I wasn't going anywhere. I was working from home. It just really worked out. So anyways, um, I was going to turn the car in. That, that was my intention was to turn the car in and kind of just walk away from it. Well, it wound up that because of COVID and all the changes with what's what's available and whatnot. The value of my car is, I didn't lose a lot of value of the original price of the car. We're just gonna leave it at that. And so basically, if I turned the lease in, I would have wound up handing the dealership just about a $10,000 check. So um, I made the decision to buy the car. That way I can sell the car and make my own money. All right, so right now we're adding in the uh, smoked kielbasa. And just so you know with this, um, I did double up what's on the recipe, just so that you're aware. I am using more, but between Ani and Scott, they, they they like this stuff, so um, I have a feeling the fact that it's a little bit on the hardier side, they're going to be happy with that. So we're going to saute this for a minute. Well, anyways, I decided I was buying the car, and um, I called them, called them for the payoff. Well, I'm going to cut to the chase and say the freaking dealer tacked on fees. But because of the girl that I follow on TikTok, one of the recommendations she said was, she talks about all the shady things they do. She said, just contact the um, maker of the car to get the payoff letter, which I did. And sure enough, don't you know, the payoff that the maker gave compared to the payoff that the dealership gave was substantially cheaper. Can you believe that? Needless to say, I didn't go through the dealership. Okay, so right now, any for, for anybody dropping on, like I said, if you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind sharing it out, it helps me a ton and it'll enter you into my weekly giveaway. Just make sure you're commenting shared. I apologize if anybody is talking to me, but I can't see your comments again. I'm kind of sick of Facebook right now. Um, whatever, I don't know what they're doing. So what we've added in here and what we were sauteing, we've got our butter, olive oil. We're sauteing our um, celery, onion. I just put in the kielbasa, just letting this cook for a minute. And we're also, cause this was the most important and I almost forgot, we're adding in the cabbage. So this was a quarter of a head of cabbage. And um, I basically just cut it up into uh, like bite sized squares. And I am using, I have a little bit of coleslaw because it called for a um, carrot and I don't have carrots, but I did have this. So I figured I was gonna throw this in. So we're gonna let this saute for a minute. And 
just going to put a little bit more salt on this. Like I said, this is all in the recipe. Oh, uh, let's see. Who do we got on here? Hi, Scott. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Lori. Hi, Jana Lee. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Hi, Christine. Stacy. Hi, Cheryl. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Okay, once this starts to cook down and it's getting there, we're going to start adding, adding in the tomato and the end of it. And then what will happen is once this is all together, it cook, simmers for about 30 minutes, it says. And, you know, you just want everything tender. And uh, they're done. This is a little bit later than I wanted to, but I, I actually switched what I was doing. I thought I was going to hop on a training, and I could not connect. And so I wound up... Um, Pivoting, and I figured I was just going to do this. Actually, let me put my garlic in. So, what's everybody having for dinner? what do you think you're doing buddy the one thing I am doing different um, I may have broth downstairs I probably do but this only calls for three cups and I know a thing of broth is for and I didn't feel like doing it uh, opening it up and I had the chicken stock where you add the water may not be the best option but I found it in my cabinet and I wanted to use it so I, I'm swapping it out for that making messes along the way. Right. Did everybody have a good day today? You cook chicken in your air fryer and then potatoes in the air fryer too. Yum. Um, that's funny. I was thinking about cooking in the air fryer the other day and I, I didn't do it. All right, so now I'm putting in my tomatoes. So I'm using Rotel. So that's got a little bit of, what's it got? The green chilies in it? Yeah, I figured it'd give it a little spunk. Somebody asked me what spunk is. Spunk to me is a little bit of bite, spice, whatever you want to call it. Not hot, but you know, not quite. Nothing. Okay, so I'm putting my cream cheese in now. So I put this in as an optional and I did this for the, just so it was a little bit on the creamier side. You don't have to do this. Um, I, like I said, I put it on there as optional, but I'm going to put this in now so it can quick melt before I add the water. I already dropped the, um, I already put my, my stock in, the, the, the concentrated stock. I already put it in, sorry. My mind went a little wonky. And I have my water all measured out already. So who's made cabbage soup? You guys like this? I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't think I've ever had cabbage soup. 
Maybe one time. Actually, I may have made it one time, and I think it was my friend's recipe. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I liked it. But this wasn't her recipe. She didn't have, um, that one didn't have sausage in it. Didn't have kielbasa in it. All right. So this is three cups of water already measured. Four people. Uh -huh. Okay. So now this is just going to simmer, guys. That's it. This is pretty much. This is pretty much it. Now instead of the four cups of, did I put the time in? I must have put the time in. I moved it. Um, you would have normally done broth, just so you know. You would have done broth normally, but like I said, I was using up something I had in my cabinet, so I swapped it out. And if anybody's interested in what I swapped it out for, let me see if I still have the container. I'll show you what I used. Oh, no, I don't have it. Darn, I don't have the package. No. I can look for it. I think it says home style something. I think it's like the K N O R R home style stock or something like that. Chicken stock. I don't know. If anybody's interested, comment stock and I'll I'll tell you what it was. I'll get a picture of it off the internet. I think I threw the box away yesterday. I just knew I had two of them to use. I figure I was gonna do this in um chimichangas. Jimmy, I have a recipe with chimichangas. So this is going to simmer for um, about half an hour. And then that is pretty much it. That This is going to be our dinner for the night. And I have a feeling it's going to be lunch tomorrow too. Uh, hi, Carol. Hi, Marlo. So I'm going to let everybody go though. I hope everybody has a great night. And like I said, if you wouldn't mind sharing it out, it helps me a ton. And it also enters you into my weekly giveaway. Make sure you comment shared to make sure that you get included because if we are not friends or you share it privately, I cannot see who shared. Um, so if you wanna get credit, make sure you comment shared and then that way I can guarantee it. Hope everybody has a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.